Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to play Command & Conquer General Zero Hour Online on Revora, which is also known as CNC Online. So, to do this, um, just start up your game like you normally would. And um, I'm sure many of you have tried this out. You go to multiplayer, you go online, and you see this beautiful screen with a bunch of stuff you have to enter. And uh, I'm sure many of you have tried this out. You just enter an email, uh, nickname, password, whatever, whatever, whatever. And uh, you click create account. And then this. Could not connect to CNC Zero Hour Online or this email is invalid. Whatever, okay? Now, many of you are like, oh, well, I guess the servers are down. Oh, we can't play. Okay, yeah, it's true. The servers are down. But as long as you have version 1.04, which you can see in the options here, and you have Gen Tool, which you can see up in the corners, if you see that text, you know you have Gen Tool installed, then you can actually play. And I'm going to show you in a bit how to do it. But if you don't have um, version 1.04 or don't have Gen Tool, I recommend you go to my channel. Yes. Let me show you. So that's youtube.com slash C, I think, and then slash Legionnaire Generals. Well, I mean, you're watching this video on my channel, so yeah. And then just scroll down a bit. I made this cool ass playlist here. This one, Guide Installing uh, General Zero Hour. And then if we go to the chapters, we can... Okay, let me just... There we go. Okay, there it is. Install Gen Tool and installing the patches. So first, make sure you have those patches installed, then install the crack, and then install Gentle. I have it all nicely outlined. Uh, for those of you who have the game installed but you don't have Gentle, it's very easy. You just go to gentoo.net and you download the .exe, this one right there. Just download it and then install it, and that's it. Then you have Gentle installed. Now, the reason you need Gentoo is because it will automatically uh, hook up your game to the CNC online um, servers. So they will become the official servers. Okay, so now I assume that at this stage you have Gentoo installed. And uh, you have version 1.04. So what we do now is we open our beautiful browser and go to cnc-online.net. And then we see this very beautiful website. And uh, it tells you that, yes, we can still play these games, Command & Conquer 3 and Red Alert 3. You can still play them online. Anyway, so you need to click register at the top. And um, here we have some stuff. And let's enter a username. Like, what do you want your username to be? For your account, that is. So I'm just going to write someone awesome. My uh, email, I created this email in a previous video. I think the Game Ranger one and uh, a password so this will be your password to your account so this is important this is an actual password this is something important don't just you know this is keep it safe make sure it's a proper password okay and now we have to check our email let's see we log in Yeah, the email doesn't mean anything, you know. I mean, who actually loves Legionnaire? Mm. All right, here's our email. Click it. Activation link. Click it. 14 days. They really give you the time. And there we go. Activation completed. So that's step one. Now you have to log in, so the username that you entered and the password that you entered. And log in. Okay, now this is where it gets important. What do you want your first nickname to be, right? So my user account on uh, CNC Online is someone awesome, but I also want the same uh, server login name so I still leave it someone awesome and here comes the server password this one is a bit more it's different uh, because this is what you actually have to enter in the the login screen remember the login screen where I was like oh test and whatever you have to enter this password so here I'm gonna make a nice easy password I like generals and uh, I'm just gonna keep that here aside 
here. Let me just increase the font size so you all can see very clearly. Okay. All right, so this is the password we are going to use to log in online. Okay, and you just do create. And that's it. That's basically it. Um, so we have the login name. The login name is required for Tiberium Wars and Kane's Wrath. And here we have the server login email, which is for Generals Zero Hour and Red Alert 3. We have the server password. And uh, this website has a lot of interesting information and stuff, so you can read that on your own and whatever. I'm just showing you the essentials. So now we go back into the lovely game. And we see if all this stuff works. So we go multiplayer, we go online, and uh, now we just have to enter all those details we had before. So email I had, what was it? We love Legionnaire, yay! Okay, someone awesome for a nickname. And um, the age really doesn't matter, just enter whatever pops into your head. And uh, remember my info, check that, that's that's good to have. Anyway, so the password for the server login is I like generals. So that's what you have to enter here. And then just click login. You don't have to click create account, just do login and whoa, something happened. Okay, so it wants you to say where you're from. This is as useful as a bag of hammers. You can just enter whatever the fuck you want, doesn't matter. So, hey, I'm from Brazil. I'm not from Brazil actually, but let's just do it. Here you have different options. We have communicator, which is like you can add people and chat with people, which I'll let you all figure out on your own. You can still access the options. And here's this my persona thing. Now this is pretty cool. This has statistics. So it says the number of games you played, number of wins, losses, disconnects, and some other stuff. And uh, you have the same medals that you get in skirmish, or at least some of them. So that's, that's pretty cute, you know. Uh, quick match was a feature back in the day that worked in 2004 and stuff. Um, it doesn't work anymore, so you could just forget about it. It doesn't really matter. There aren't enough people anyway. Um, so yeah, just ignore that. So always click custom match. And uh, this is the one versus one lobby. That's the refresh button at the left top. And uh, these are players. So let's go to the two versus two lobby because that's the cool place to hang out, yo. No, really, that's where everybody is. Don't bother with anywhere else, because there's no one. Always everyone in the 2 vs 2 lobby. Why? I have no idea, but that's where everyone is. Even playing 1 vs 1 games, but anyway. So these are all games that you can join and play, and ooh, how fun and exciting. Okay, so let's join one. Oh, game is full. Okay. Oh, well. Hey, look, it's Alpine. Okay, so let's create a game. We'll call it one versus one. And this is record stats. If you have that switched on, it's going to remember the game and it's going to add it to the losses and wins and the medals and that stuff. So most people like to keep that on. Also, if you keep record stats on, it um, saves the data to your account online as well. On the, I think it's the CNC, no, the shatterbrick.com. I'll uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. You'll see it's it's pretty cool. It's uh, it's a nice way to see stats of other players as well and seeing who played against who. Anyway, so we can choose a map. Okay, if you are playing on uh, record stats, not all unofficial maps will um, count, as far as I know. Only the select ones. I'm not sure which ones they are. Um, but yeah, all the relax maps, they, they work, I think. Anyway, so just wait for him to accept, click play game, and now we wait for connect. Oh no! What's this? Okay, so this is a serious fucking issue that everyone's had playing this game, unable to connect players. Now, I know that some of you are gonna freak out and say, what the hell does that mean? It means that somewhere the connection got blocked, either a firewall or something, usually it's a firewall. Um, or someone didn't open a port, you, you should use ports. And I'm gonna do a video on that some other time because it's a little complicated to explain. But um, usually one versus one matches, they, they pretty much always connect. I mean, this was just a, a rare case and uh, it's good to show you guys as well. So let's just wait for someone else. Um, if you look at the right top, you will see a timer, which right now is four minutes. That's how long it's been. 
uh, since we started the game. So that's essentially how long I've been waiting and whatever. And at the left top, because it's gentle, it tells me my local time, which is useful. And uh, yeah, let's just wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we wait. No, really, this is it. You want to play generals? It's just waiting 90% of the time. Okay, not 90%. And someone joins. Hello, good sir. Ooh, nuke general versus tox. Okay, he's loading. And here we are. We're officially playing a game online on Revora. Nice location. Oh no, I got owned! Oh well. I'm just showing you guys for tests anyway. So you see this scoreboard thing shows up, showing the top 10 players around. And it says their Revora account and uh, their actual nickname here in the server. So let's try and join someone, so just double click a game, click accept. And here we go. No, even this guy I'm having trouble with. Oh well, like I said, it happens. And uh, there is a solution for those of you going, oh yeah, the game is fucked, you can't play. No, there is a solution. It's a long solution. It's a complicated solution to some extent, but there is a solution and I will discuss this later on in another video. So yeah, I'm just looking around here. Okay, this is the best way to refresh the lobby. Just go to another lobby, so the one versus one lobby, and then back to two versus two, and then just hammer that refresh button. And this goes on for a while. Oh, here's a guy. Okay, so I join his match. And uh, you just press accept, just like how you did in Game Ranger. Now I wait for him to start the game. And here we go. Yeah, it's just as simple. Coincidentally, the same map. Don't worry, there are many more maps. I'm just a peasant. And uh, I play another game the here. Cannot fit there. I will Cannot work. we live in peace? This is oh, hard okay, work. Okay, okay, I will. Okay, so this one I won. So now I have one win and one loss. And I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. Now you see this scoreboard that comes up, it only shows my loss, the one I played earlier. And that's because that scoreboard takes like, I think it's an hour or half an hour to, uh, to update. So um, yeah, anyway, so if I go to my persona, you can see now that I have one win, one loss. Uh, I got the honor of beating someone within 10 minutes. I have the allegiance to the nuke general because that's the, the icon I got because I played most as nuke general. And uh, that's all I want to show you guys. And the rest you can figure out on your own. I just want to show you the basics and how to get started. And uh, as usual, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll have a look. So yeah, have fun, good luck and uh, enjoy.